Hello everybody, welcome back to Skyrim. And we're just gonna go on more quests now. And now that we've mastered Fus Roda, uh, although we were told to use it responsibly, that's not gonna happen. We are definitely going to be irresponsible with it. But uh, we have to go meet Delphine. We have to talk to her about something. I think the Thalmor. Yeah, I know. I was there. I slayed that thing. That thing exists. I saw that thing. I don't think you were followed. Come on. I have a follow. I'm almost certain I wasn't followed. Unless somebody's like skip jumping across the land of Skyrim with me. Then no. No, I was not. Yep. <clears throat> hmm. Excuse me. I figured out we were going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Yeah? I've been doing this a long time, remember? I don't remember. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Eleanor, regularly throws parties... Party? <coughs> Excuse me. ...to get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Eleanor in the secret fire. We understood. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Okay. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. All right. Get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Steamer. You know it? <laughs> of course I know it. I'll work on getting you an invitation to Eleanor's little party. All right. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? No. Sounds good. Be careful. Mm. Lamb's Crest. I'm the God of War. Alright. Let's... I would like to do a series where I only use my Kratos voice. I feel like not only would it be silly, but it would also, like, up. Like, it would give me so much practice on the Kratos voice. Where? Okay, hold on a second. So we're looking directly at it. Solitude, it's this way, okay. Yep. Excuse me. Thank you, I'm sorry. Oh, bugger. Did I just kill a fish? Oh, this is where those little scary little pinchy little bug things are. Very understand. It is my journey. It is my journey. I've been practicing that voice a lot. Like, off camera as well. Because if that's a voice that I can pinpoint, that would be awesome. But, like, Christopher Judge's Kratos voice, well, not even just that, his standard voice, is so deep. Like, it's wild to me. And I've definitely, I've heard people, like, nail the impression really well. But I have a decently, like, okay, I don't have a super deep voice, but I have, like, hints of it at the end of sentences and stuff sometimes, and, like, when I'm doing this for a long time, my voice starts to kind of give out, uh, and that's when it's easier, too. It's like the longer I talk in succession, the deeper my voice gets. Because my vocal cords are, like, not strung out, but they're active like while I'm doing this especially these longer sessions where I'll be recording for like an hour ish maybe closer like an hour and 15 minutes between like extra time going over and well maybe not that long because I'm not really talking between episodes I'm just kind of starting the next one and I'm sure you can hear it that's not even intentional it's like the longer I record or the longer I talk on a stream uh, the deeper my voice gets. Like, it doesn't happen really in conversations either because, like, you know how conversations work. Uh, one person talks and then you get to talk and then they get to talk and then you get to talk. And so my voice has a break then. But when I do recordings or I do live streams, it's like, no breaks. So, my voice wears out a little bit. It's still getting used to it, which is crazy because it's been over a year. Uh, April was a year. May, June... We're in June, so it's been a year and two months 
that we've been doing the channel now, which is wild to me. It does not feel like that long. It still feels relatively new, um, but where do I need to go? Okay, yeah, so I'll walk around here and then up the mountain. East Empire, your new empire. It was said you would join the Sith. Not join them. Er, <laughs> defeat the Sith. No, he doesn't use the word defeat, does he? It was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them. There we go. It was said you would join the Sith. Oh, man. Such an epic movie. It's wild, because, like, I, I mean, I've always kind of liked Star Wars, but, like, more so the games, but, like, over the past couple of years, like, I've really been into Star Wars, man. I think it's because, like, I'm just, like, really embracing and realizing I'm a nerd. I mean, I've known I'm a nerd for a long time, but really embracing it. So, like, I'm playing games like this. I've been playing a lot of Dragon Ball again. Like, it's just been wild. I'm sure they can hurt him. Oh, is this, is, this isn't the mission where I have to plant a ring, or steal a ring, is it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, no, I know what mission this is. Hey, Melbourne. Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Understood. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. What kind of thing should I bring? Here's what I'll need. Okay. I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Take everything. I didn't realize how much stuff I had. What? Why can you not hold any more than that, my friend? I am ready. Let us begin. Whoa. Your job is to get into the party without being Got it. As a spy. They won't figure me out. I'm too quick. Your job is to get into the party. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, I would prefer that they didn't. That's, you know, just a preference. If they have to, then whatever, but I would prefer that they did not. Just saying. That's a weird way to get into a party, but, you know. As is, does it will. You know that classic saying? <laughs> Let's go party! Have you given Malborn the deal you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yep. But the only way, which means you, when you're ready, you'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you. Do do do. Apparel. Whatever you can pick up inside. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Oh. You ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Yeah. I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. And with that, we're going to call today's episode. And uh, tomorrow's episode will be infiltrating and, you know, getting what we need out of the embassy. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day. If you're watching early on, have a good rest of your day. See you in the next one, uh, which will be, you know, Skyrim. And then after that episode, uh, we should be going back to two uploads a day. So, look out for that, and uh, see ya!